Okay, so we have Geb in the red, uh, which who has a pretty nice start, I think. So fruit trees are close to amazing. And Tot is in a little bit more trouble. Uh, he has less um, fruit trees and is really hurried. Um, not hurried, hurried. He's uh, biome. So the farming uh, space is not great right here. But he has nice gazelle near his, near his bench. Uh, both players, as, as per usual, going for food, building a house, nice timing. Um, yeah, as we could uh, expect, um, Gabe is going for the granary, well placed uh, for the food trees, for the, for the hunts, and uh, they now uh, scooting. Uh, Gabe has uh, all information on his base, and uh, Toad uh, almost as well. In terms of PY, we have a settlement on a temple against a temple on a settlement, so pretty even on that. But in neutral, we have uh, orchards, settlement, and temple. So I don't think this will be the much of a of a pure game. I mean, I don't, think, I don't think it's worth investing only in Buttersville because there's only one orchard which is uh, neutral. Um, I think Buttersville makes all sense when you have uh, at least one orchard. Unless it's for an orchard, it's pretty hard to to um, make up for its cost. And we have uh, Gap al already taking quite a full lead in terms of food. So you can see almost 150 when uh, Toad doesn't even have uh, 50 food. Uh, so the village of production and knowledge generation will be crazy and is almost one full tech point to it. So a really nice job of, of, uh, of Gabe uh, snowballing uh, out of these uh, wonderful fruit trees. And now taking uh, uh, taking damage from Toad's Scout. So in, in a few hits, he will destroy uh, the building eventually. <laughs> Even Gabe realizes that it's pretty pointless to fight. <laughs> Okay, so now we will take a trees. I will risk it. Oh yeah, okay. I think it just needs more. Uh, it doesn't want to risk losing one villager against the boars because they deal quite a few damage if you kill them fast enough. And now he's losing the scout. So I mean, I think it's fine. I mean, you you hate it. Yeah. You, you can say it's fun to lose a scout, but I mean, he scouted what's, what matters, right? He just doesn't have the intel on what his opponent is doing. But it eventually uh, freed up a space in his, uh, in his dwellings, right? Let's, let's see the civil lining. Um, the game is still doing great on the, on the food count. Uh, having nine, which is a little bit high. I think you don't need that much uh, unless you're going for for early military, which he might just do. Like uh, he's really close to building the barracks. Um, but Tot is faster, so barracks faster for Tot. The only problem is that he doesn't have uh, enough. Doesn't have enough food to produce a lot of light axe, and you can already see it's. Uh, Almost two tech lead from from Gab, so it was really tough to for 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 Tot to to make to, to make it for, for the fact that he he doesn't have a food. It's like three hundred food from from Gab, and now it's Parax. So I mean, the only difference is like they both have the Parax at roughly the same time, but Gib can afford um, at least 5 to 6 light axe without dropping beneath uh, 150 foot when Gib can't afford any, just can't afford any. 
if it goes for for light axes, uh, like it goes for it, it will drop so low in food. Yeah, it really hard, really hard. And now going for port as well. Size almond right away. Um, actually, actually, I mean, outpost is pretty cheap. I think it's uh, it, it only costs a few resources. Look, so I think if if you go for for port as well, just take everything. Even if, if you don't like tumble, it's still fine. Like it, it, it gives you 0.5 knowledge, which is. Um, 15% of what you have when you have a lot of food, but if you drop to uh, zero food, you have zero knowledge. So 0.5 is huge. So I mean, it doesn't cost cost that much, and you will need knowledge eventually. So just take the temple, right? And now you can see, you see. Tot went for five light attacks, and he's starving right now. When Geb went for only two light attacks, going defensive, playing with Villager, three light attacks now, and he's still above 200 food. Yeah, the, the food economy of Geb earlier is it was just way stronger. Um, you can't go that aggressive when you don't have the food to make it for it. Still spamming. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty bad for, for Toad now. And yeah, Gab doesn't need more. He's like, no, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I like my go, I like my resources, I, uh, I think my stat is pretty fine. I don't need more. Oh, uh, I'm housed. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just lose one, one light axe and I can rebuff. <laughs> He does, yeah. I mean, and I think he traded pretty well. I mean, he traded one for one. Still, it in, in resources. It's all looking good for Gap right now. Okay, he killed everything. Yeah, the two villagers are here doing a lot of work, and now, now he has a military. It he dropped off in food. A little bit. I mean, uh, for sure, he, he recruited something like ten lataxes, but he's he's pretty fine now. Four villager lead, three military lead. Great. In terms of tech, he took this third tech, Egyptians, and yeah, I mean, Tot is just lagging three tech points behind. Looking pretty dire for for Tot, but yeah, he was forced to to stop the production, so he stopped, and now uh, the food count is going up. Uh, he has nice transition. I think he has yeah, hunt here. Is there uh, more hunters? I don't think so. Yeah, the only thing, I mean, not the only thing. I mean, one good thing from Toad is like is eager to expand, so he doesn't hesitate a tiny bit before building Granavi's super farm from his base, getting getting all resources that he can, all free resources because I mean, actually uh, fruit trees are basically free resources, right? And now uh, Gab is going for metal, metal that says. Uh, Equipments and with equipments and eventually a palace, which is doesn't it doesn't quite have the resources yet. Uh, he might start doing a serious damage to to Toad's economy. Um, yeah, he, he took control of the of the orchards, and now the the food from from Grape from Cape will be just amazing. I think you should go for uh, Papyrus Scroll, is a bit early. No, you can't because it doesn't have a palace right yet. <laughs> Maybe Seagull? Maybe Seagull is good. Or he waits for. No. The 
doesn't make sense. I think your best choice here is seagull, maybe masons. No, this is this is trolling. It's a little bit trolling. The big world just doesn't have the the priest yet. But no, it's fine. I mean, it's still a good technology. And now he found it. But yeah, we are just doing great. I think there were eight earlier, so it doesn't look like he lost any. Doesn't look very like good. He, he got zoned off, zoned off of bows. But he will collect, killed one knight. Oh, fine. And he went for Egyptian as well. Actually, range, so he might go for some slingers because he doesn't have uh, the resources for a palace. Now that the palace is built, uh, the Furnas should probably follow, as he has uh, already more than a hundred medal. And now that he has the five priests and rubber scroll, the food count will just skyrocket. So, build a Furnas, start building equipment, and spam units. Pretty simple plan, but he will lose some. Hmm. I know it's sorry, Gable Gable is fighting some units to kill. Thought I thought he was losing some units. Um Sorry, it's, it's been a long time casting games. <laughs> and and you see the the the, the food is, is crazy for po for both players actually. Yeah but yeah, because um Gable has way more military. And it's probably spamming units from barracks, from Archer Range soon. When uh, thought is not. <sighs> so the question uh, is how thought uh, deals with this? Because it's a lot of military. Um, yeah, I mean, it's only light axes, so yeah, militia are doing great against it. But he cannot really push back yet. So he needs an army comp, which will allow him to, to do so. Uh, with that many villagers on wood, I would expect archers. Yeah, archers. Um, spears. Uh, I don't really like the heavy spears because archers cost so much wood. So, maybe mixing them with heavy axes is a little bit easier to spam. But another archery went from Toad, so he really wants to, to mass the numbers right away. Just needs more, more, more wood. Maybe he doesn't need that much clay. Maybe he could transition like 4 to 5 from clay to wood. And now uh, Gap is closing in to those villagers. He needs to realize. I wonder how fast Toad will see that. Doesn't see it, doesn't see it. Now he sees. And he reacts pretty fast. Yeah, pretty fast reaction. Loses one still. But it's fine. Going back into Palace Range. Um, now showing some archers, which is pretty dangerous because I, I, I think it would almost be worse to, to trade some of these to kill the three archers. It's fine overall. Uh, now the heavy spears will close in. Now that the archers are away, uh, one will pick up again. And now the light axe will try to trade the archers, but you see how slow they are. You see how slow they are, so uh, it's pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, I think they all die. He can't save them, and he doesn't have the wood. See, he doesn't have the wood. So the heavy spears are actually costing a lot. Those two heavy spears could have been two archers instead. And I mean, he could have gone for uh, two heavy axes and two more archers here. But he's now finding a good fight against all military. So he will eventually lose some villagers. You can see a few corpses. 
with not that much damage and he cleaned everything that was in space. But now he yeah, he realizes that he just needs more wood. So send everyone to wood and the hope for the best. He really needs to spam uh, those archers if he wants to to come back into the game I think. Oh, that's a pretty nice fight, didn't realize it. But it's pretty good engagement he found here. He killed uh, one villager, I think, only. Oh, two villagers here, so it's three villagers. That's uh, four villagers, five villagers, probably six. Yeah, see, six, this one. Pretty nice fight. And you see now, suddenly, it was behind, but the fight that he took here cost him so much because of the, uh, the little sneak that he found and now the archers are closing in and that's uh, Gabe's archer, so cleaning everything but he has 6 villagers lead now taught. so that was a really nice engagement uh, that he found on the villagers and now we see the fullness play so this is when Toad needs to be worried a bit on the next few minutes, because uh, for sure the villager count is pretty great uh, the military count will probably be fine as soon as he starts to produce again uh, but if uh, Gab starts to research equipment like the helmets, especially the helmets, the shields also it will be really, really hard for for Tot to to deal with that. So trying to build watchtowers, I don't think that's what he needs. He needs to go to metal super fast, but he doesn't have metal. <gasps> the only metal he has is here, and he can't access it. So he needs to go all the way up here to get one tile of metal, and he can't control it because Gabe knows about this. So he might eventually come back to look for it. There's no metal for for him on this path. <laughs> Looking pretty rough, pretty pretty rough. But now Gab is starving, so we need to pay a little bit more attention on his base. He only has 14 farmers. I don't think it's enough. Actually, the, the six farmers that he lost here cost him so much. Like you see, all of this idle farm. It's more. He needs to reassign. Doesn't need that much on wood. He, he needs to ungarrison the, the palace, maybe some. To just get some villagers back. But. Yeah, looks like it's a goner because Toad only has four military. There's no more food in the bank, and he will have to to handle gaps. The only question is, can Gap uh, fix the food? Because he is halfway to starvation. So yeah, he really needs to to take this engagement, trade some units, so he, the food of keep is lower. Should be fine. You should be fine. You reassign the lots, rip up those farms, and now I will just close the game. I believe. So, pretty tense game again. It's pretty even game. Um, both player was going, uh, and the pressure kept going uh, one way and the other. All the game. I, I, even though I think Gab. Um, always had the opponent, but he just was in some dire situation some, sometimes. And this, this is again a little bit dire because he's not killing anything. He's forcing idle time, so now Toad is the one starving, but he doesn't kill that much. He killed some villagers still, so even up the villager counts, and he still produces military. Not losing the archers, that's important, that's important. I mean, 
this kind of traits yeah and total uh, total resigns because it was too hard but in, in this kind of traits uh, you really want to avoid losing Sarge so it's fine to fight as long as you have melee units but as soon as they die just fall back so yeah thank you guys for watching um, see you guys <laughs>